Hi everyone, this is Malhar sir and I was thinking that maybe we should start something where I can give you updates on student visa related rules and changes around the world. So let's give it a go. The first country I would like to talk about today is New Zealand. So one of the things that has changed in New Zealand is that if, uh, if you are a spouse of someone who is studying in New Zealand uh, towards a bachelor's or a master's degree and pursuing a program under green list which has occupation under green list and you can apply for work permit uh, so spouses now can apply for work permit depending on what the student is studying next country is australia an interesting thing that come came up is newcastle university in australia has made students life easy uh, and how they have done it uh, simple they have started a scholarship of around 48,000 Australian dollar roughly equivalent to 26 lakh rupees for which most of the students would be eligible and this can help you um, save some money with your living cost or with your tuition fees the third country that I would like to talk about is Canada a lot of students are scared that oh Canada has put on a cap on number of international students but please keep in mind that the number is still a lot higher so for instance they have decided to give 364,000 so 364,000 new student visas in just 2024 alone uh, obviously if you are going in a credible university that can always improve your visa chances current visa success rate in Canada uh, globally speaking is at around 60 percent fourth country is Denmark um, in Denmark uh, the government has recently changed the part-time work rights for students. Uh, what they have done is that uh, now international students would be able to work 90 hours per month. Usually in Denmark the part-time wages are around 14 to 15 euros uh, per hour. Uh, and also Denmark offers three years of a job search visa once you finish your bachelor's or master's degree. The fifth country that I would like to talk about would be Germany. Uh, now, not much has changed apart from the fact that uh, the block account uh, has increased. So, uh, before it was 11,200 euros approximately, now it has changed to 11,900 euros something. So, around 700 euros has increased. Also, in Germany, APS. Uh, is only possible for someone whose university is in H plus category. Now, uh, what we have got, a lot of students have raised queries that uh, what about our university which is in H plus minus. What we have realized is that a lot of universities, they need to approach Anabin to change their level. So if you are one of those students whose university is H plus minus, ask your registrar or university to approach Anabin. And finally, the last country is US. Uh, the Mumbai Embassy has opened all uh, visa appointments uh, for all non-immigrant visas. Uh, so if you are looking for an appointment, do log in and see whether your profile uh, is eligible for one or whether you can book an appointment. I hope this was informative. Please tag and subscribe and uh, see you in a few more days. Thank you.